Hello and welcome to week three. This is our kindergarten lesson for the week. This week we will be beginning our Art to Remember fundraiser project. In this lesson we will be identifying and using lines and shapes in a work of art. Here's some things you should do. Create bright and colorful pictures. You can use themed artwork and include your name in the artwork. Use markers, paint, watercolors, or crayons that are bold. What not to do, don't leave a white background, don't make something too small, don't add any borders, and don't write names too close to the edges. Make sure that you use bright colors, not light colors, and finish your work. Here are some products that are available. Check out the examples on the, of their artwork. You can get a magnet made with your artwork. There are bookmarks available with your artwork. Coffee mugs. Garden flags. Jewelry. Coasters. Night lights, ornaments, sketchbooks, keychains, buttons, t shirts. Water bottles, and more, pillows and more. Here are a few examples of some of the things that you will find on your order form. All orders are optional. It is just a fundraiser if you're interested in doing it, but it's not required to purchase anything. We do, however, ask everybody to do the art. This is your assignment for the week. we are going to be making a bird. And the bird is going to be made with the letter B. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a long line, almost all the way from the top of your page down to the bottom of your page. We want this bird to take up lots of room on our page. Then we're going to make the round part from the top. So for the capital B, you're going to curve around and go to the middle of the B. Now it looks like a P. And then we're going to come around and make the next one. Go around the curve and connect with the bottom line to make our capital B. Letters, use lines, create shapes, and that's what we're talking about this week. Once you've got your capital B, the next thing to do is to make the beak. For the beak, we're going to use diagonal lines. So we're going to slant from the middle of the top curve and then we're going to move down and then we're going to connect that into a point start at the next curve and you're going to go diagonal up to create a shape similar to a triangle so it's pointy like a bird's beak The bird has a wing, and we're going to use another letter we know, which is the letter J. So you're going to go down and around. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some tail feathers. So 
we're going to take a line up on a diagonal. Make sure you're down on the bottom part of the bird. And then we're going to do some zigzag lines. So that's up, down, up, down. I did it three times. If you want to do it more, if you want more zigzags, you can do more. Because every bird is a little bit different. Okay, next we're going to do the I, and the A, I is just one big circle. And then inside of the big circle, I'm going to make a smaller circle. A few more things to do and we'll be done with our bird. It's looking good, guys. On the beak, we're going to add a little circle. It's a little hole in the beaks of birds that we're going to draw. And we're going to draw some feathers on the top of the bird's head. And this is going to look kind of like a cat, a, a big or a curvy M. Not really a capital, but a curvy M. So you're going to go up and go into the middle and then up and back to the bottom. So it kind of looks like a capital M. So now all we got left is some feet and some place that our bird can sit on or land on. For our feet, we're going to make a curve line from the bottom over a little bit. It kind of looks like a backwards C. And then we're going to do another one. Close to it, but not right next to it. A little bit of room. And then curve the feet around with two or three bumps. So curve around, curve around, curve around. That's all of our bird. Now we're going to add a place for him to sit or a branch. For a branch, we're just going to make a few lines that are slanty, so diagonal lines. I started from the back of the bird and came over towards the corner. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter. And I did the end of it like he's in a cage, and it's one of those floating sticks. If you want to make yours a branch, just take that line all the way to the edge. And then we're going to do the other side of the stick. And on this side of the stick, we're going to make it kind of a rough edge, like if it's an old stick or an old branch.
And there we have our bird. If you want to color it, you can begin that. But check back next week because I want to go over what I'll expect for it to be a completely finished project. Have fun, and I'll see you next week.